west coast in the morning to find a place. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. No, it's not Chesil. It looks a little bit like Chesil. We're actually in Brighton. You already know that by now because you've clipped on the thumbnail and I'm in Brighton. Today I'm not on my own. I've got a few friends around. So as you probably know, I drove up last night after fishing the Bristol Channel where I blanked. It's the first session this year that I blanked. So we've got that monkey off our backs and now we can just push on. But as you've seen, if you watch the video, it was a beautiful evening. I enjoyed myself. I learned lots and I had great fun. The fish weren't really interested though, but that doesn't matter, as you know. So if you can hear a bit of noise, I've got four swimmers. The worst thing about Brighton is it's full of loonies, all right? Don't take any offense. I'm only going by the figures. In a minute, we're likely to get someone naked, come walking by, someone dancing with machetes or guns. We've already seen some crazy stuff and we've got four people swimming right in front of me. So today could be chaos. Hello, Jam. Morning, Wayne. How are you doing today? Well, you know how I'm doing because I slept on your drive. <laughs> Yeah, I made Wayne sleep outside on the drive, I'm so mean. No. No, I would have let him in, but he turned up in the middle of the night. Yeah. So yeah, ho hopefully Wayne's still got a good night's sleep on the drive. Mm. See, I think it's looking really good. It's yeah, like it's beautiful. Pancake. It is beautiful up here. It's crazy, I've, as I've said to everyone at home, you can get hassled by people here. Yeah? <laughs> you're from this area. I am, I'm from Brighton. So yeah. what can happen when you're fishing this beach? Firstly, that's a nudist beach. <laughs> yeah, nudist beach towards the marina. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, we've already got people swimming down here who have been in for their morning 6am dip. Yeah. <laughs> More crazy than us sitting on the beach fishing, I think. Yeah. So, but... yeah. but it's also the heart of Brighton's gay area, uh, yeah. this bit of Brighton. So yeah, anything can happen. If you're fishing down at night, you want to be careful. Yeah, well, um, um, it's actually online that like you shouldn't really fish on your own here. Yeah. Every time we've come up, not something dangerous, but things have happened. Well, I think it's near the clubs, so you yeah. get a lot of people come out who are a bit um, inebriated, shall we yeah, say. That's good, yeah, that's uh, good, I've seen a few um, fights around this area, so yeah, the, don't fish on your own bit's probably sane yeah. advice, really. And it's always nice to take someone out fishing with you. Yeah. But it's good, it's great to see you. Obviously, since we last seen you, you've been fishing for England. Yep. Um, how did I know how it went but <laughs> for your first time how was it yeah it was uh, intense I think is how I would describe it. it was a lot of fun got to meet a lot of new people which was great yeah and I got a zone win and a second place and as a team we got the gold medal so oh. couldn't have asked for more than that really so kit wise today pretty straightforward pretty standard for me I've got my Tronics Pro competition naggers paired up with my 7 HTs as you see. The two I've got today, well I've actually got three. The two I'm using I've just picked up from a service from Dave Rogers back in Somerset. So Jock sped them up for me so I don't know how it's gonna go. I've had three or four casts and they seem fine but you know how it is. You know what these guys are like. They speed up your reels. I know Jock does it on purpose. Goes oh I've made it nice and fast for you boy and then you come out and it's like ninja but this one seems fine. I'm only casting with mags on, but as the day goes on, I try and ease them off, but I'm not overly worried today about distance. The thing with this beach, there should be place everywhere. At high water, you should get them at 30 yards all the way out as far as you can hit it. So I'm not really worried about distance, but on one of them today, so rig wise, I'm gonna be using a Bagnall bar. When we're back at there, I'll show you it. That's a single bait, put it as far as I can. And for a little mess around, or not a mess around, I'm going to be using a standard free at clip with no bling, hopefully trying to catch more than one place. Maybe two, and if we're very lucky, I might get three. But I'm going to have another cast with this. I'll turn you around, I'll show you the sea, and hopefully I don't blow this one up. Wish me luck. So here goes. I'm not wearing my mics today. There's no wind, and I like to do it natural. So if you get a little bit of wind noise, I'm sorry about that, but it's fishing. I've got my mics with me, but they're a pain in the ass. You get feedback off them. And if I can get away with not using them, I always will.
Luckily, this reel seemed fine as well. That wasn't a full cast. I'm not feeling great today, not from the fact that I've slept in a van for an hour and a half. I'm feeling quite rough. I'm aching all over. Don't worry, it's not the big COVID. I've just got a cold, I think. And it's probably where I've just been cold for probably two months now. But I feel a bit rough, but today's gonna be beautiful. The sun has just come up. That will definitely warm me up, but hopefully we can get into a few place and make a nice video for you. As I like to tell you, I'm very lucky. I've got my friends with me again. What more can I need? Or what more can I ask for, I should say. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll show you the sun now. It's beautiful. Look at that, eh? Hey? That's definitely a beautiful sight. And hopefully we can get a few plays for you. Oh yes! Right. Hello! How's it going? <laughs> right, Stu? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. A little cuddle. Good man. man love, we're in Brighton. Oh. <laughs> yes. How are you, mate? You alright? Warming up a bit now. It's fresh this morning, isn't it? Yeah, you're not very good with the cold, are you? No, oh, terrible. Right. Yeah, what are you thinking? Well, it's beautiful conditions now, aren't we? We've got some, got some good anglers here with us today. Yeah. Good right. friends. Yeah, we're all here. Yeah, yeah. Can have a go? Yeah, definitely. A bit murky at the moment. Yeah, it should be, uh, as you can bark up the beach as normal. It's always like this, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Every so time I come, on. I'm like, oh, I hope it clears out. And it does, yeah. about an hour or two before high. Yeah, it just seems to clear know. out when you've got the depth. Yeah. And then you normally get into a few fish, don't you? Yeah, we definitely have a few today. Anyway, we leave Stu in peace. In a minute, we'll come back, we'll look at some of your rigs. Yeah, Go yeah, on. definitely. Okay. Yeah, we'll hopefully they work again today. Got something different today? Well, I've got... A little sneaky Russian? Yeah, I've um, adapted those ones which we use on chisel. Um, we've got showcast leads again, to just roll around there, there's a new one. Yeah, See? the lollipop. Got the lollipop ones and those new ones which uh, Graham oh, designed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which will give those a good going. Yeah, we'll show everyone then. Um, yeah. We've done it on Chesel, didn't we? We've done a little bit about them, but the sign quality wasn't that great. So, no, no. So I didn't put it in the video. So quite a few people from Chesel have asked if we can talk about our rigs a little bit more. Yeah. So we'll try and do that today. Yeah, of course, man. But we've got to get into some fish, haven't we? Definitely. It's a long way to come. Oh, God, that was trek, this trek this morning. We never all the road closed just now. Yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare for us, really, because yeah. it's nice to travel overnight. But you get all the road closures. I went on the yeah. 25 and for most of it, it was just one lane. Yeah. Well, the yeah, detours just... I had were crazy, man. That for you know what I mean? Yeah, we're, here. we're in Brighton. What more can you ask for, though? Yeah. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Thanks, you. From one superstar to another. What's <laughs> going on? Well, Look at that. Is that sneaky? Yeah, I know. I what know. you call that? Nice, That's the very special. Yeah. Formal rig with. Yeah, good. Loads of lovely black mug on there. How's it going, Steve? Um, I think it's, <laughs> it's going as well as it is for everyone else. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate water and no fish. How have you been since our flounder hunt? <clears throat> um, pretty busy, really, to be fair. Yeah. Flat out, digging bait in freezing cold weather. But yeah. Catching no. a few flounders on LRF at night. But... Yeah, we're going to probably do something on that. It's probably something that hasn't been done on camera, we think. <laughs> No, not that I think of. Maybe down Weymouth there's been yeah. a couple of little short videos on it. But. But we're going to try and do something a little bit special, but we need settled weather. Yeah. And it's pretty hard to come by. 
yeah. good size but we're going to do something different but yeah what's your hope for today catch anything yeah anything flat as long as it's, a, <laughs> as long as it's flat i don't care <laughs> not a dog at least you haven't got a dog toilet up like me a shelter you've decided not to put a dog toilet up no they're just um they'll just use my food bag instead <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll let steve carry on I'll get this bait out mate hopefully we can find a place yeah cheers mate and i mean this in good heart because we're in brighton but anything can happen some crazy dude down here doing some mental dancing it's like a silent disco what do you think Stu? good moves man pretty cool for them <laughs> yeah he's got one move though hasn't he yeah karate kid karate kid yeah <laughs> the wax on wax, wax on. on i gotta have a warm up with him now Freezing. yeah i thought it was you <laughs> <laughs> you're more air me uh, anyway that's brighton i told you it's crazy anything can happen here anything i've had motorbikes doing wheelies i've almost ran someone over before i've had people <laughs> naked we've just had there's nothing wrong with it obviously we're on a nudist beach <laughs> but three women just walked by naked and got out the sea which is lovely i'd love to have the i nearly said the bollocks to do that <laughs> you won't have any bollocks well, i've got a in tiny water. <laughs> shit penis as well and it's freezing never mind anyway best of luck to everyone who comes out here do yeah. whatever you want. They probably look at us and think we're crazy. Right, Jen, what was that like? What was that, being crazy? Down that, down that guy down there. Yeah, he's doing his yoga, I think, before going for a swim. I know, I thought Fair it was play. a silent disco. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I, thought, I thought I was crazy being on the beach dressed like this and you got well, people going in for a dip. I did say that people probably look at us. It's pretty, it's really cool around here. People are like naked. But it's just all going off, which is it nice, is. isn't it? I wish I could. I'm not getting naked today. I'm not getting naked in the sea. No, no, I'm not getting in the sea in any state. No, but yeah, it's a beautiful place. So if you like dogs weighing on the shelter, if you like men dancing, women getting naked, and men getting naked, getting in the sea, then this is definitely the venue. The beach for you. And you're from this area, aren't you? I am, I love Brighton. Yeah, it's great. But it is a mad place. Yeah. Very pretty place. As you can see, Early February fish, very, very thin. Only retain them in the bucket quickly just to get a bit of footage and make sure they're okay. And then I'll, um, I'll go and slip them back. Yeah, well done, mate. Brilliant, double shot. Do you feel better about it now? Oh, much better. You're not going home? No, I'm not a long way to up come and now. And all this? <laughs> all the toys ever I've just oh, been picking hang on. Up. You got uh, another one? I, no, I've got a bite from Taff. Oh, yes. I think look you've got a Welsh International. <laughs> I have, look. <laughs> Someone isn't casting straight. Is it Steve's fault, Stu? There you go. Stu, is it Steve? Okay. Is it Steve's fault? Was that Steve's fault, Dad? Oh, definitely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> takes a, takes an honest man, that. Right. Go stick these back. Yeah, there you go. Let them plump up. Beautiful. And that's what we come for. Crackers. That one's a little bit more. Beauty. Cheers, Steve. So we've been fishing for about three hours. Believe it or not, Steve is the only one I've seen to have a place. And he had a double shot. The water's pretty coloured, so it could be a struggle today. We're about half an hour from high water, believe it or not. And it's clearing out. We can see the line, but it must be about three or 400 metres off. So hopefully, when we get to the top of the tide, the tide has stopped running, it should clear out, then hopefully we can get into a place. But look, here we go. We've got blow lug on the bottom, rag on the top, double pulley, let's go. No pressure. Few people watching for some reason. Get it out there. Nice and gentle. Oh, out she goes. Ooh. Two good baits out in that tide. We've got to be in with a chance, everyone. But I don't really care. It's a beautiful day. And that's it. That's all I can ask for. I'm staying awake. Probably like yourself, when you've been up all night, driving, 
freezing your nuts off when you turn up somewhere like this and about half 10 11 o'clock the sun comes up it's a struggle to stay awake but i'll keep trying i'll keep putting the baits out and you never know on the top of the tide hopefully i can get a few bites catch us a few plays there you go well hard work so far in it mate but slowly getting bigger and if you make see that one very well there you go good 40 centimeter plus fish isn't it gotta be so lean though look at it very lean this time of the year it's just nice to get one very nice so to get see, one like we said what we mean by lean you can virtually see through them yeah yeah you might be able to see it if i get side on <laughs> maybe <laughs> he's so <Yeah>. skinny <laughs> so that's why we don't take them home this time of year springtime they feed up that's yeah. what they're in here doing aren't they exactly in here feeding up fattening up after spawning hopefully um a lot of them make it that fish could be pound and a half yeah <laughs> well probably more than that probably let's see the sun for it <laughs> yeah very skinny you fish go? yes mate let's go get a nice release shot yeah and okay. hopefully some more yeah lovely there you go Hard work so far, but the fish are definitely there to be had. That was good timing, wasn't it? There you go. Surf them in. Should imagine I've got two on here. And there you go, nice fish. First one of today. Now I've had one, confidence through the roof. So there you go, there's a spring place on Brighton Beach. I almost said chisel then. Hey, that ear's back out, look. Hello, little ear. But look, I'm into the fish. We've got a long way to go, and I'm sure I'll get some more, but that's a beautiful fish. Thanks, Mr. Place. Cheers, everyone. We've got one, target species. Let's get a few more now. Find a couple of mates on the beach. As expected, the water's cleared out. Yeah. What's happened? Look at just I? just for a moment. Look at the size of Steve's. <laughs> <laughs> I think in this case, mine's bigger, mate. <laughs> Jesus. Well done, Steve. Um, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> but that's a nice fish, fish. Steve. Yeah. Obviously, stews into a couple as well. The water's cleared out. Yeah. That chocolate line's moved in, yeah. and we're able to hit it. Get it back in the bucket, and we're into Get fish. How's it going, lads? Good, mate. Yeah. Five now. I'm counting. Looking like you've got one on your left hand. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. We've both got bites going on over there. Yeah, it's just that tide when that, as soon as it cleared one end, that tide picked up the sea said. Little trickle, bang bang, straight away. Come on the feed. Right, well done, lad. Now it's all about just keeping the baits going in every quarter of an hour. Keep it going. Fresh baits, smash it out. We're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. Effort. If I can't even move later. It's just about being here now, we've got the tide, we've got the fish hopefully. I'm just going to keep these bagnell bars out there at range, so it's going to cough again then. There you go, that's out there. Put him well at the start. Felt like a really good fish. Know, it's kind of... He's still there. 
Right, sink you down by the water. Here we go. <laughs> and just like that. <laughs> Sorry, I got a sore throat. But there you go. That's another beautiful place from Brighton. I'll take him out there, I'll put him in the bucket. We'll have a look at him, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Oh, there you go. Nice to get into another place. I've only had three. It seems a little bit void along this way. Not making excuses. I think Steve's had eight now. I can't do nothing about it. This is where I'm fishing. I can keep the baits going in, but we're having a great time and we're catching some fish. Anyway, I'll get this little chap back. There's an early spring place, fully lively, ready to go. Lovely. It's more lively than me. Whew. Feel a bit rough, everyone. I've only got a cold. You can still get them, you know, but yeah, I feel a bit shaky. But that's a fish, I'll get it back. So we're out in the witching hour. I think you know all about that by now. For me, it's the first hour and the last hour. To be fair, you can't really call dawn the witching hour. The witching hour is the evening. As I've explained to you before, the place are sight feeders and they feed in the day. Every now and again, you can catch them at night when there's a full moon. But as a rule, they feed in daylight. So like us, or like me especially, they eat lots in the day. So now's the time. As I've mentioned to you before, sometimes I've been out place fishing all day and not even had a fish. And then about half an hour before it gets dark, I've got five. And that's how it can go. I've had a few plays today. It's been a little bit slow. I've come right over to the right, as you can see. The rest of them have gone left. But, yeah, that's my excuses. But I don't care. I've got a target species and I've been looking at the sun all day. I spoke to quite a few people. Some strange people. It's probably a bit unfair calling people strange. When I sit on the beach for 12 hours, staring at me rod. That happens quite a lot up here, apparently. But I'll keep fishing. That sun is going to give us a beautiful sunset. And I'm wishing I bought my drone now. My name's Wayne. That's the sunshine. That's Brighton Pier. I'm going to keep fishing. Hopefully, we can get a bite on camera and catch a few more plays for you. But it's really worked, the techniques have worked, and I've caught some winter place in Brighton. Yo, how you doing? It's been pretty hard today, I'm not gonna lie. As Steve reminded me though, it's the first week in Feb. Normally we come probably two or three weeks time, and there seems to be naturally more fish and a bigger stamp, but Steve's had some lovely fish today. I think he's had nine or 10. One of them was two pound nine, as you've seen, massive. In the summer, that'd be over three pound. He's had another nice one as well, 50, I don't know. And he's had quite a few. He's on a little patch just down there. I'm a little bit away from everyone, but that's my choice. I've had some nice fish here, so I keep coming back, but it hasn't worked today. I've had four, which is great for the start of February and I've just had a nice day. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Obviously it's not been action packed as per normal recently. No jokes, we've had some nice fish, haven't we? Um, I'm just still watching the rods. But yeah, I hope you've sort of 
maybe learned something yourself, maybe thought about coming up here yourself. It's not a secret, it's a really good beach. It's a nice place to come. Naturally, it's insane. Loads of stuff goes on. I've seen loads of naked people today because we're on a naked beach, or a nudist beach, sorry. Not a naked beach, what's that? Um, yeah, and it all goes on. But we've had a few fish, we've had a great time, so I just want to thank Stu, Gemma, Steve, and young Riley for being part of this video. My name's Wayne, this has been Brighton. I'll see you up here again in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching, take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon.